Hello everyone, we're back with part two of the colour along from Journey to the Sunny Land and this is the cover if you haven't seen it and I'll leave a link in the description for where you can get your copy. So in the first video we coloured in the skin of this little elf girl and also the hair and I wanted to make it seem as though, I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background by the way, housework waits for no one. Um, yeah, so I wanted to make it look like she'd got kind of grass or dried grass or reeds as her hair because that's what this part kind of reminded me of. Almost like these two butterflies have been collecting the hair, uh, the grass to make the hair. So I was thinking and puzzling and pondering on what to do about the background and I kind of had an idea to make it look like she was in a field like a friend said to me, why don't you make it draw a wheat field in the background? And I was like, do I, do I look like Bob Ross? <laughs> no, but honestly, it was a really good idea, but I just thought there's no way I can draw it. So I was trying to think of more abstract, artsy ways of doing it and just creating an illusion of something that might be a wheat field. Um, so I remember the technique that I tried, which I saw on Colour, Colour Me Stress Free's channel, Debbie's channel and uh, tried it on this channel as well worked really well it was like kind of like a, a mixed media sort of background technique and it was using alcohol blending solution which you can get from ranger uh, several places online you can get this and basically putting layers of alcohol marker down on the back and then dripping this over the top and i thought well what if i did sort of strokes of different green alcohol markers in the background and then kind of put some of this in long drips along the top. So not kind of like circular drips, but long, long lines of drips, if that makes sense. No idea if it's going to work. No idea if it's going to ruin the page, but we'll never know unless we try. So I'm going to zoom you in. I just don't want to get too close so you can see everything that's happening. So I'm using these alcohol markers today. I've just picked out four different greens, kind of like the... Um, the greens that I wanted, the type of shades and things. These are IERS markers. I don't know if you say it's IERS. Uh, I got these ages ago and now I, I can't find anywhere to buy them. So I wish I could leave you a link, but I can't. Um, but they are just alcohol markers, nothing special about them really. And these are the colours that I've chosen. So very much in the same vein as the hair. Quite yellow greens, mossy, um, a little bit desaturated. So let's just dive into it. And once I've done the background, I think I'm going to finish the details because it might come to me how I want to, to do the rest of the little bits. So these particular markers have got two chisel tips on them, which is unusual. We've got a standard size chisel. And then on the other end, we've got a huge chisel. So as I'm trying to sort of do lines up, let me get some paper so I can show you what I mean. I've got a bit of wrapping paper here. So I want to just like do different lines up of different um, colours. So they're all interwoven in each other. And then this alcohol blending solution like over the top might just give it a bit of texture, a bit of speckly something. It might, it might elevate it, it might ruin it. I, don't, I honestly don't know yet. So I'm just going to put a piece of board behind because I don't want to ruin the next illustration. Luckily it is a one-sided book. So we've got our piece of board behind there and then I'm just going to get started doing all kinds of different lines. Just trying to keep it sort of going up from the bottom like this. And it is quite scary because, you know, I spent a lot of time on the face and stuff, but I'm trying to learn this year to just become more chill about things and not so precise and precious about stuff. So I'm just trying to avoid, obviously, the areas that we're going to be colouring in you know, like the butterflies and stuff. But I wanted to make sure that I definitely came back and finished this colour on because we all know what I'm like about starting things and not being able to finish them. And I was like, I'm not going to do any more videos on my channel until I've completed this page. I was like, I made a, I made a stand with myself. I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to keep letting people down. So here we are. And like, this is just a crazy, crazy idea. So I, I just don't know if it's going to work. Again, apologies for the washing machine. I've got like three or four loads to do, so it needs to get done. And I don't have 
any other time to do it. So we're colouring alongside the dulcet tones of my candy washing machine. Right, so I've done quite a few lines of this colour. Now I'm going to go in with the next one. Uh, if you do have these markers by chance, they are the IERS dual wide markers. And the colours I'm using are the G321, YG283, YG269 and YG286. But I haven't really seen anyone using these. So I don't know whether they whether they went bust or, or what happened, but uh, I just can't seem to find them anywhere. So just adding in, you know, I should really be precisely going in between, but I don't want to have anything precise about it. I want it to look flowy and organic. So just sort of putting them wherever I think without without thinking too much about it I think that's the, the best thing to do I'm not taking it right up to the top because I do kind of want it to look like there is she's kind of like stood in the really high grass the tall grass so I just want to keep it it's a bit difficult when you've got to go round things that's the only thing So with this being a chisel, I guess I can also use the flatter, wider edge a little bit if I wanted to create a bit of a thicker line and sort of fill a bit more of the gaps. I'm not entirely sure how this top works with these spirals on the end. Maybe it's something that I could go over afterwards in like a, a pasta pen to re-bring it back out. But at the moment, it's just stopping me from getting all my lines in there. So I'm just going to go over it for now and then hopefully we can bring it back out later. Just put a few more of those darker green ones here because we didn't go there before. I hope a lot of you aren't screaming at the camera saying that I've ruined it. <laughs> but like I said, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Right, next one is the YG269. This is definitely a brighter green. And I just wanted to get a few different tones in there, really, so it didn't just look flat. I definitely wanted to do something mixed media with this background and I didn't know what I was going to do, whether it would be to use some distress inks or some pastels or what, but this idea sort of came to me when I was trying to think how the heck can I um, achieve any type of background from blank that looks like a wheat field because it's like, no, it's just not going to happen. missed out a few dark green bits up here as well so I'll just add those in okay and then the final colour is the YG286 which is definitely more of a yellow tone I don't know whether it's, it's quite similar to the one we just did but it's slightly more yellow so it's got a kind of creaminess to it and maybe that will be good to fill in some of the white gaps that we've got down here. So we're just filling in most of the white gaps in between, but the alcohol blending solution should, should sort of merge them into one another. I'm hoping it works. It's a big experiment day today. Just, I'm not too bothered about going over some of the lines of this illustration because I can always bring it back with a, with a really opaque pencil like Prismacolor or if that doesn't work, I can use a bit of Posca pen. But I've got no clue whether this is gonna <laughs> wreck or ruin or be great, so. Anyways, so I did want to do this yesterday and then I woke up with a migraine, so that was nice. That's the second migraine that I've had in two months and normally I only get them once, twice a year maximum. Like some years I've never had them. So it's really, really weird. 
to get one again. And uh, as you know, if you've been watching the channel and keeping up with me, you know that I've been taking this amitriptyline for the extreme nausea bouts that I was suffering. And I was taking just 10 milligram and it really, really helped. And then a couple of weeks ago, I got a little bit of nausea back for a few days. It wasn't its worst. It was like a six, seven out of 10. So it was manageable, but it was still, ugh, couldn't do anything. Um, so I'm just thinking, I wonder if the 10 milligram is just not enough. My body's kind of saying you need to up your dose just to find that sweet spot. I just don't want to have to move up every six months, you know, because going from having to go from 10 to 20, I worry, well, do I have to go from 20 to 30 in another six months? And then eventually I'll have nowhere left to go. But I think it is a case of just upping it until you find your sweet spot and your equilibrium that your body will hopefully uh, work for you for, for years to come rather than months. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going up to 20 milligram and hope that works. Uh, what next? OK, so I've done all of the colours, haven't I? So it's time really to get on with the alcohol blending solution. Now, I can't remember if this comes out really fast. I might just have to test it quickly on something. Let's get that wrapping paper out again. Oh, it does. See? Did you see that? Right, so I've got to be super careful then, haven't I? I wonder if I had to oh, hold it at an angle and then drag down like that. But it's still quite... It, it sort of spreads really, really quickly. So I'm thinking, what about if I pour some out? God, that stinks. Need a, definitely need a ventilated area for that. What if I pour some out and use a very small, fine paintbrush like this to, to paint some of it up there and see what happens? Let's see, what can I pour it into? Um, that's a fair tin, I think so. I'm gonna use this one. Right, I've got a spare little paint in here. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit. It's really, really drippy. Just gather some on the brush and paint it upward. See what kind of result we get, if any. I'm not seeing anything happen at the moment. see a little bit of feathering just here but I'm not sure whether it's really making much difference at all. I wonder if I painted it over a bit thicker it would blend the lines and just blur them a little bit so it looks more of a, a blurry abstract background than all of these very defined lines. So let me get a thicker brush. just heard the disorganisation I'm sure. What brush have I got? I haven't got any really thick ones and I haven't got any really thin ones. It's going to have to be this one I think which is a bit thicker than the one I was using. So wow that really really is strong. Let's just fill the brush, paint it down. Not really seen any major differences yet. Maybe just give it a bit of time.
think I can see some blurring happening, a bit of blending, but it's not to the extreme that I thought it was going to be. Whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know, but I kind of just did want it to be a little bit more of a blurred bokeh, kind of like blurry background, basically. I wonder if I just coat this whole thing and then see what happens, like in 10 minutes or something when I've given it time to do its thing. I must remember as well to get up here on these bits. I want to open the window really do need ventilation with this. I don't want to get another migraine. <laughs> okay, well I probably put far too much on and still I'm continuing, <laughs> but I just, I, because I don't see instant results, I'm like, right, nothing's happening and then I carry on, but I could be doing the wrong thing by doing that. So I am going to leave it there. And I'm going to come back when it's dried or evaporated rather and see if we've got anything like the effect that I was trying to achieve. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The smell is gone. I believe that it's all done what it needs to do. So in some areas we've got a lot of blur and in some areas we haven't. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks a bit scrappy. Um, so I was just thinking, I wonder if we go in with some harder pencils like Polychromos in various shades of green and maybe brown and just give it a little bit more fullness, a bit more texture. Also, if you hear any kind of noise in the background, I'll turn it up so you can hear it. This is the... Uh... <laughs> this is the tune for the doctors. I'm on the phone to the doctors. I've been on for eight minutes already. I'm in Q position 11. So when I get down to Q position one, I will uh, stop the video and then come back. <laughs> but uh, I forgot to ask them something earlier because that's me. So I'm just giving them another ring. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. Right, so let me grab the permanent green olive because just by looking at it, I think that might work. And let's see what happens if we just add in. Well, that's just blending in really well position nine uh, that's blending in really well but I think it might help to get some of that thinner texture in there as well as um, trying to keep these really sharp as well and then we'll try some different shades and see what that looks like so you've got the washing machine and you've got the doctor's hold music now to listen to as well as me <laughs> It's just trying to find time to get everything done and it's like I just wanted to get this page finished so it's got to be now when I've got other things going on too that I fit it in okay so up here I'm definitely going to add a few more sort of individual stalks and I'm just slowly rotating the pencil to keep as sharp of an edge as possible And again, I don't really mind if I'm going over some of the, still on nine. Don't really mind if I'm going through any of the illustration that we've not colored yet, because I can always go over that and it's not gonna make too much difference to the finished picture. Added in some of those lines all around. I don't really like these little lines where you, you've tried not to get too close so you've got gaps. But I'm hoping the whole finished piece as a whole to the eye will look better and it won't sort of, you won't be looking at these gaps really, you'll be just seeing it as a whole. Right, so that's that pencil. Do we have anything a bit darker? What's this one? This is the chromium green opaque. Is that a bit darker? Yeah. Q position nine still. 
there. So it's a bit darker and it's just about getting the textures in there really. This might be a bit of a boring part of the video because I'm just adding lines again. But at least you can see what I've done in case you did want to try and emulate it, but not sure many people will. There we go. Hope this music's royalty free. Can you imagine if the video gets muted because it's like a copyright tune? But maybe I should turn it down a bit more. There we go. Hopefully you can't hear it now. Maybe you couldn't hear it anyway, but. So we've got some darker lines going in there. And I'm not, you know, doing them completely straight. I'm doing them with a slight wave to them so that it looks a bit more natural. What else do we have that would work? What about some brown? Let's see, what's this one? Nugget. Does that do anything? Mm -hmm. It adds a little bit of a brown tone, but it's kind of blending in. if there's anything I can put there just to like stop stop me from going onto the shoulder that might work this is almost like nine. still nine this is almost like um art therapy isn't it where you don't even think about what you're doing you just draw lines and you put different colors down and shapes and all kind of random stuff without having really a clue what the finished piece is going to be like i think that brown has helped a little bit I wonder if, what about some of this goldish colour? This is green gold. And these are all polychromos pencils. But it doesn't matter if, if you are trying to do this, just use whatever pencils you've got. I mean, I think some artists cry if they saw how roughly I'm using these pencils, but I'd rather them be used for something, you know, experimental and interesting than be sat on the shelf. position six we're going down how funny is this just sat <laughs> sat on a video with me waiting for the doctors to answer this is why i could never be one of those amazing really big popular youtube channels because i'm just too scatty and all over the place There goes the washing machine. <laughs> oh dear, you might want to mute this and just watch what I'm doing without any sound. I'm sure my washing machine moves about three feet across the kitchen floor every time it's on. I'm just wondering if it was worth even using that um, alcohol blending solution at all because we're kind of covering up. Kind of covering up what we're doing. Well, oh well. got some gold in there so kind of looks a little bit wheaty is there anything else we could put on because you know me i'll just keep adding stuff until it's a solid block of color me right mm, what about this one van dyke brown that's a bit darker isn't it so maybe just a few of these here and there
So I can take that out now, can't I? Because we're not using the alcohol markers anymore. So I'll be able to get into this bit easier. Q position six still. Again, I just I don't want to hit that, that shoulder. So I think this is definitely not one of my better colour alongs, put it that way. But at least I'm doing something. I don't know whether it'd be worth putting some blue in the background to show the sky. So it's a little more obvious what it is I've tried to do here. Maybe with some pastels or something. I don't think I can go into that now with... Um, coloured pencils. I probably, maybe even some more alcohol marker to be honest, just in a solid blue. Oh, Q position four. Now oh, what's this colour? This looks like a grey. This is Payne's grey. Again, just very few lines of that in here because it is really dark. And then I think I'll finish up with something a bit more green so we've definitely gone to the brown side haven't we let's see what about this one permanent green will that make any difference because we've got loads of green on there probably not i don't know i think it's it is making a bit of a difference i'm just trying to fill in bits now that i'm not super happy with i think this side is okay it's just around the hair and stuff q position three oh gone onto the skin there but I don't care okay what are we thinking I wish I, I wish I had you on live so you could tell me how badly or how great you think this looks um anyways it, I think I think it looks better now that we've added the colored pencil on top we've we've sort of bulked it out a little bit haven't we at least that's what I'm hoping anyway but I, I quite like it I feel like she stood in front of um, a, a long tall grass field okay i'm gonna leave it before i, I carry on and then end up ruining it um she says right gonna leave it pull it down <sighs> what do you reckon i mean it's okay isn't it it's like it's not the worst thing you've ever seen surely let me find a blue alcohol marker and get some sky in there maybe that'll give it you know a little bit more of the look that we're trying to go for so let me just check some blues what about this one a bit dark that's not bad so you'll never guess what i did i came onto the phone to the doctors so obviously stopped the video and thought i'd restarted it and hadn't so <laughs> this is what i ended up with i'm having to do a voiceover now because i didn't record the rest of it but uh, i did the sky with just one shade of blue and i kept circulating the nib around the page because i didn't want to make it too smooth i wanted to keep that little bit of patchiness because it kind of looks a bit like clouds but hopefully you think that has helped so I think I think it has because it kind of looks like it's grass now with the sky behind but it's still a bit of a mess anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here 
I want you to go in the comments for me, please, and tell me exactly what you think I should do with the butterflies and the top. And I will be back here tonight, hopefully if I've had enough comments and some help, to do part three, the final part. See you soon.